Hello, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you uh, how you can use the global tool or uh, the tools required to build your uh, artifacts or your code. Um, uh, in every every environment, in every CICD system, uh, you, you must need to build your environment. Uh, let uh, imagine you have an application that requires uh, uh, a Java, and some application requires uh, Apache, and some requires to build with uh, Maven, and some requires some Node.js and other uh, various uh, build tools. So Jenkins allow you to configure the ver uh, multiple version of your uh, in, uh, build tools. Like uh, if you want, uh, if you want Jenkins to be configured multiple uh, uh, Java versions, so you can do this. Uh, if you want to configure your uh, Jenkins to use the multiple uh, Maven versions, you can do this. So in this video, we will see how we can configure the multiple version of your build tools. So log into your Jenkins UI and then uh, go to the Manage Jenkins section. Uh, after that, navigate to the Global Tool Configuration. Uh, this is the tool where you can you can uh, add uh, your installer which is uh, available to all the uh, jobs and projects and uh, this also if you have uh, 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 multiple uh, slave worker nodes so if you specify the uh, some specific version from the global tools then your agent uh, will use that particular uh, JDKs or, or uh, the global tools. So imagine we have uh, uh, requirements for various projects that requires the Java 1.8, but we have some old projects that uh, is still using the Java 1.6. So Jenkins enable us to uh, enable us that we can uh, use multiple installer version and for their build for our build tools. So starting with the uh, uh, JDK, so because um, uh, when we are working with a Java application. Uh, uh, Java is very, 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 very sensitive about the Java version, JDK version. So in that case, we we can we can enable multiple Java version to our uh, Jenkins uh, server. Uh, for this, we need to configure the from master. Uh, currently, we have all we already have a JDK uh, with the name of Java 1.8, uh, uh, like uh, and uh, this will automatically install, and uh, we we can install it uh, uh, from Java SE. Okay, uh, this is one thing. If you know, if we want to more uh, Java version to be added, like we want to install the Java 1.6, uh, then we can we can add it from here, uh, and then uh, we can specify the Java version. Uh, Java version 1.6. Uh, uh, I don't see any old. Yeah, here, uh, here we can see that uh, Java 1.6.45 uh, we have already. Uh, 6.45 so we can specify over here uh, it says Oracle Java is not available for business uh, commercial use and da, 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 da. Uh, okay uh, so uh, we have two Java version available in the in our uh, for our build uh, and uh, after that uh, we can add multiple uh, get uh, like uh, multiple installer for get as well uh, right now we are using the uh, path to execute like uh, I, I know that uh, normally Git is available here uh, if we want to install automatically uh, globally like uh, different uh, git version so we can specify uh, some git version like uh, we can specify the uh, tarball and we can specify the download url from here and uh, there are some small configuration like this is this could be the uh, name of the tar uh, packet uh, label for the package like uh, tar git and we can specify the uh, archive URL which is tar.gz and we can add it in that way but uh, uh, we don't need because we are using the git from the top level uh, we have some more build tools like apache ant we can specify the uh, apache ant version like uh, we can install it from apache uh, apache.org so uh, we have uh, we can specify multiple apache version apache ant version like uh, I'm saying this is Apache 1.10.7. Uh, uh, if I, if I uh, uh, and then uh, either we can, we can install it from Apache or we can install it from uh, other uh, sources of the tool. Uh, we can specify the installer version and uh, we can we can specify more uh, ant version. Like uh, we can add some old version as well. Uh, Apache. Apache Ant, 
uh, like we can write it in the way like and dash some older version uh, like 1.8.3 uh, we can call it as 1.8.3 uh, uh, this is one way uh, whenever the build runs it will download it from apache.org uh, even we can specify the maven versions uh, like uh, I can say here uh, maven 3.6.3 uh, and we can add more maven version uh, like some older version uh, like uh, 3.0.0 uh, like, uh, I can call it as a maven dash uh, we can select the uh, version we need to install uh, like 3.0.2 uh, in the same way we can add some uh, node.js version as well uh, I can call it as a node.js 10.22.1 uh, and uh, uh, we can add uh, some parameter like minus, uh, minus g uh, if we want to install it, uh, globally if we don't then we can go with uh, the same default configuration and we can specify the npm package refresh timeout uh, as well uh, also we, if we have some uh, architecture level uh, dependency we can add them as well like we can force the 32-bit architecture of node.js version uh, but uh, uh, right now most of the uh, uh, hardware are 64-bit so uh, normally this is not the, this is not needed now uh, even we can add some more node.js version uh, like uh, we can we can have node.js 14.0 uh, so we can say node.js uh, dash 1 point uh, sorry uh, 14.0.0 uh, we, we, we can we can specify the same uh, word, uh, like uh, parameters to here uh, and then we, we will have a docker uh, as well uh, like we can install the docker uh, if we need to specify the docker version we can specify the docker version over here like uh, we have now 1.19 uh, uh, let me see what is the latest docker version uh, docker uh, 1.17 I just need to check the docker release notes so, so uh, docker 1.170 uh, so we can specify the uh, docker 1.1 170 so in that case uh, it will uh, we can uh, name it over here as well with the same uh, tagging with the same version uh, even we can have some different docker version as well like uh, uh, we can have uh, docker 1.19 and and we can we can specify the docker version over here as well uh, so uh, in that in the way we can add uh, multiple uh, not a directory okay uh, we, we can we can say that uh, don't install over here it installed it here so we need to create a Jenkins directory uh, and we can specify the path as well so this is our Jenkins master so I'm saying okay create a directory at uh, mkdir slash mnt and slash docker and uh, dash uh, 1.17 i created a directory called docker one uh, mnt docker and then i can specify the directory over here so uh, all the binaries go over there uh, what is the part uh, docker one point uh, we need to ensure that the path is the same as okay uh, so installer will install the docker over here uh, so we can we just need to use the save and apply uh, when we go to the uh, job section uh, like uh, I'm going over here and I can say configure so if I need uh, if I want to add some some build uh, uh, we can add some build options so uh, with ant uh, so I can see the ant version is available uh, if we want to uh, add build steps so like uh, execute node.js script so we can specify the node.js version as well uh, like uh, if we want to script add some more 
uh, like uh, where is the docker 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 okay docker shell script uh, is it okay, okay. Uh, we can uh, we can uh, add it from here like uh, some docker uh, it, it comes two times so this, this uh, we can specify uh, some more docker option because docker uh, plugin requires more option to be executed we can uh, build through docker script and docker api version and credentials and lots of stuff we can do with uh, docker uh, so i just need to see uh how to add docker tool okay i was actually looking for the docker d uh, docker version so that it was not over here so uh, we can we can use uh, so many things if we have some uh, maven project so like uh, if we create uh, like uh, we create a new project maven project uh, maven and then we can move forward and then in the air uh, from here we can see the different uh, options uh, like JDK, ver JDK version and uh, build in the build uh, options so we can see the Maven versions available here so that uh, even we can specify the different form files as well uh, so uh, that is how we can configure our build environment uh, Jenkins to create custom build environments or the multiple build environments uh, I hope uh, this will help you to uh, configure uh, your environments. Uh, till then, uh, in this video, we are done with. In next videos, we're gonna see uh, how we can uh, integrate our uh, Git uh, Jenkins with uh, GitLab and uh, Jira. Uh, and we have lots of stuff in this video series. So uh, stay tuned with the with our channel Linux Tuition. Uh, if you like our channel and if you like our videos, so don't forget to subscribe the channel Linux uh, tuitions and stay blessed.